Hi, so here is a pretty nice uh, Toshiba satellite laptop. It is, uh, as you can see by the two front lights, uh, it shows that we have um, DC power in from the outlet and that the battery is currently charging. Now, um, this is an A45S121 model, okay? Um, now, before, when I first got it, it wasn't doing anything. Uh, it didn't. It didn't have a power supply. Um, now I gotta see if I. Can. Okay, so we can see this here. All right. So when it first got it, it was blinking. The green light was blinking on just the little thing with the, uh, you know, with the power cord. It has a little green light there, and then the battery's over here. But the green light wasn't an orange light, but it was blinking. Blink, blink, blink. So there's a code, and the way that it works is you'll get eight blinks, and then you'll get a stop which is a, I believe, a full two second off, okay? So your first, this is going to be a little hard, your first, the first four blinks of that, uh, it's a hexadecimal code, the first four blinks, um, so you get, uh, I was getting half second blink, uh, so a half second, second blink is a zero, okay? A full second blink, so half second is a zero, uh, one second, is a one in heck in in a binary okay so uh, the first blink was half second like blink 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 and then it would come to this one and it would blink a full second blink and then it would go blink 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 and then it would go off for a full I believe it's two seconds so what I have there is I have two uh, I, I have a binary code but I have uh, if you split it into fours you have two hexadecimal digits. Now, uh, what I got is zero, which four, four zeros is a zero, and then uh, one zero 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 is an eight. In other words, uh, one, two, four, and eight. So I just had a uh, hexadecimal eight. Um, now, oddly enough, <laughs> Toshiba makes it so that these are switched around. So, in other words, what I have is an 8E. <laughs> you see how that works? 8E. <laughs> and uh, so, I wanted to share that with you, and what I did is I, I looked up online for the Toshiba codes, and AD comes out to be a power supply problem, so I confirmed a uh, suspicion, and basically when you push the button, the power button, nothing happened. Now, um, what I wanted to show you here is normally when I make a power, I, I, I have suitcases full of uh, power supplies that I save, because when I find things, most people throw out things if the power supply goes bad, especially laptops. Um, laptops, if I have a 17 volt laptop or an 18 volt laptop and I hook it up to a 20 volt charger, it, it'll fire up. It has its own voltage regulator. Whereas Toshiba, very interestingly, is different. It, uh, it is looking for, if it says 15 volts, it's looking for 15 volts. If it doesn't get 15 volts, it's going to give it one of these error codes and it's not going to charge. As you can see, it, as I showed you before, it is currently charging, which is very exciting for me because it was like the Da Vinci Code, deciphering all this stuff to figure out what it was. So I checked my power supply, and it was at, and I remember checking it before I plugged it in. I always do that. It was at 15.7 volts. <laughs> so Toshiba's saying, uh, no, I got to have exactly 15. Now, oddly enough, I remember uh, salvaging an, a fi an, an exact 15 volt power supply from a printer at some point. So I. I went through my suitcases and I found that and I hooked it up. Now it's charging. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you too is um, this is an interesting uh, power jack. This is what's on the back of the Toshiba and I might show that to you, but you have uh, four pins back there. And that took me a while. There was no, I could not find any information. I don't know if this is an import or what, but I uh, couldn't find any information as to what exactly is going on. Well, when I took the whole laptop apart, I traced these, and these two are both connected internally, and these two are both connected internally. So, this is your ground, and this is your plus 15. So, um, so they're both connected. So now I just I hook to either one of those, whatever. I, you know, you can mix and match. But the top, the top of that is plus 15. The bottom is ground. But a very I I would I'm going to have to commend Toshiba on this because. Unlike the rate, the conventional uh, male-female jack, um, where if one of the pins isn't connecting, you lose power, and and if one of the pins comes desoldered, you lose power. This is a good way to uh, double your protection. So if one of these happens to come desoldered or not connecting, 
you have the other side. So I, I commend Tishib on that, although it took a while to uh, decipher. So there you have it. Um, it's currently charging. Now my problem is usually my impatience, where I won't charge it, and then I'll try it, and I'll, I'll hook it up without putting it back together, and I'll blow something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to go lay down. That's the only thing I can do to calm my nerves while I'm excitedly waiting. Um, in the meantime, I think I'll see if I can get you any footage, actual footage of the <laughs> uh, thing here. Um, yeah, it looks like we get a little shot of that there. So that is that. There you you got it. I got a good shot of that. So there's that jack back there. And I'm just hooked kind of, kind of uh, kitty corner from each other. And... Uh, it's an interesting jack. I hadn't run into one before. And then there again is my Hewlett Packard um, adapter. And I know for a fact, I know for a fact that this thing is, uh, let's see, it's 15 milliamp at 530 milliamp an hour. So that cannot handle the power requirements because I believe the power supply that I looked up on eBay is claiming 8 amps. I guarantee this thing, that power supply can't handle it. So. Again, support for my decision to fully charge this before I turn it on. Because if I try to turn it on, that power supply is going to dip, and Toshiba's not going to like that. I guarantee that will not uh, suffice. So, you know, it's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. Oh, here are my suitcases full. Um, and they've all been organized into different things, but I have these wonderful... And all this stuff is dumpstered. Everything. All my chargers are dumpstered. All my suitcases are dumpstered. But I have them all sifted into uh, chargers, uh, specialty cords, um, <laughs> phone chargers, uh, cables, all that stuff. So, But I've got quite an array, and I don't usually run into anything that I can't make a charger for and then uh, sell on eBay, or not eBay. I don't use eBay anymore. The fees are terrible, but then sell on Craigslist. So um, there you have it, and I'll check back and let you know if it fires up. Thanks. Oh, there she is. Fired right up. It's amazing. You know, I actually, I was going to unplug the power supply because I was afraid that it would dip and uh, throw it into an air or something, but um, I just left it plugged in and <laughs> I woke up from my nap after a short, no, oh, I slept from about 9 to 10. I got that wonderful little, uh, uh, my pony pink little gal there I love, uh, but that's an old, that's an old uh, LED clock out of a stove. So it's probably my favorite clock. It's down here in the shop on that old brick. But uh, yeah, so it's booting. So <laughs> I'll keep you posted.